Hey everybody, did Pope Gregory the Great invent Gregorian chant? No. The origins of Gregorian chant are much murkier than this. So in the early medieval period, chants and liturgies were very regional and diverse, and so the Pope and the Roman Church sought to solidify this stuff a lot more, to further centralize their control over Christianity, and King Pippin the Short of the Franks liked what they were doing, and so he would import Roman chants and liturgies to the Frankish kingdoms and have it spread all around. And this is where we start to see the development of Gregorian chant as a solid genre. And then when Charlemagne rose to power, he expanded his father's kingdom and thus expanded the spread of Gregorian chant because um, he continued what Pippin the, the Short was doing. And so by the 800s, Gregorian chant was a very well-established, distinct genre of music. Now, as to what this music sounded like, we don't know because it wasn't really being notated at this time. We don't start to see musical notation until about 850. And, however, it was most likely very monophonic because early church fathers like Jerome, Basil, Augustine, and John Chrysostom all uh, were very anti-instruments and elaborate harmonies because they consider those to be sinful pagan practices. In fact, Jerome went as far as saying that instruments mentioned in the Bible were just metaphors. So that's why Gregorian chant was very monophonic. Now, where does the connection to Pope Gregory the Great come from? Not entirely sure, but it may have originated with the English who saw Gregory as the founder of their church. And so the legend spread that Gregory invented this chant because the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove was whispering it to him in his ear. In fact, here is an illumination from a 12th century French manuscript depicting this. Okay, so on the left we have Gregory with the dove on his ear. On the right we have the scribe. And then above we have the hand reaching down because that's the Holy Spirit. In reality, Pope Gregory the Great uh, did not seem to have any hand in developing the chants in liturgies, as far as we know. But this also shows us how the development of the Gregorian chant was as much about musical taste as it was about religion, politics, and propaganda. So like and follow for more, and also subscribe.